Everyone is looking to stay safe from coronavirus. You may have seen a safety chart circulating on social media from the Texas Medical Association, and it ranked the risk level of different activities. Dr. Frank McGeorge joins us now to explain how this can be a helpful guide, but also what the limitations are. The risk of spreading any infectious disease depends on a number of different factors that essentially boil down to the dose of infectious material a person is exposed to. Now, in the case of COVID-19, things like the length of time that you're near an infected person, how much virus they're excreting, and how much airflow there is to carry infected droplets and aerosols away are all important in ranking your risk. Let's consider the risk of playing golf or basketball. According to the Texas Medical Association's chart, golf is less risky. This chart was created based on input from Texas physicians who are members of their coronavirus task force. There isn't an exact formula to the rankings, but they are based on what we know about the virus and common sense. Comparing golf and basketball, golf doesn't require close contact. It's an outdoor activity. You can easily wear a face covering, and golfers aren't usually breathing heavily enough to generate infectious aerosols. Basketball, in contrast, is largely the opposite. Now, the rankings assume participants take as many precautions as they can. That's important because the risks change when people aren't careful. For example, they rank libraries and museums as being safer than hair salons and barber shops. But if you and your barber are both wearing a mask in a well-ventilated area, it might turn out to be safer than going to a poorly ventilated museum and standing right next to a stranger that's not wearing a mask. Back to you.